Benvenuto, welcome to Cherry Hill Home Cooking. My name is Mark. Today we're going to make authentic Boston baked beans. Um, there's a couple things that separate Boston baked beans than maybe southern baked beans or some other baked bean recipes uh, you may uh, have used or seen. And we'll go over that um, as we go through the recipe. One of the first things I want to point out is that I am going to use my Boston baked bean pot. Uh, this is a ceramic um, full quart pot, four or six pot quart, I can't remember. You do not have to use a, a ceramic pot. Um, any covered baking dish or Dutch oven, uh, something as long as it's um, oven proof will work. Like a Dutch oven like this is uh, perfectly fine. Um, okay, so the first thing you need to do when, uh, that you need in uh, making baked beans, of course, is you need some dried beans. All right, so these are uh, navy beans. Um, I usually either use navy beans or um, great northern beans. Great northern beans are a little bit bigger than the navy beans, uh, but I'll usually use both. Sometimes I even combine both if I have one package of one and one of the other, like I did with uh, these beans. I have a very, very important. Dried beans have to soak overnight. Okay, so for this particular recipe, and this recipe is the official Boston Baked Beans recipe that came with my pot. And we'll, we'll uh, throw the uh, link, the email address to, if you'd like to get a pot uh, like this where you could get it. But anyway, um, the recipe calls for um, four quarts of water and you soak two pounds of dried beans. So that would be two uh, bags like this. Each one is a pound. All right. And um, you soak them overnight. All right. So these have soaked overnight. I don't know if you can tell the difference between the beans in the bag and the beans that have soaked overnight, but the beans that have soaked overnight have absorbed quite a bit of the water. Um, okay. Now, also one of the, um, oh, we'll get to that in a moment. I want to go over the rest of the ingredients. So uh, the other things you're going to need is you're going to need uh, molasses, brown or white sugar. I usually use white sugar for this. You need uh, dried mustard, salt and pepper. Um, and this is one of the things that make Boston baked beans a little bit different than some of the baked beans that you might make is that it calls for baking soda. And we're actually going to um, let the, the uh, put this into the beans and the water that have soaked overnight and then uh, let it simmer for 20 minutes. And then we're going to let that sit for another hour. Um, all right. And then one of the other things that make Boston baked beans um, at least unique with this recipe is it calls for salt pork. Um, salt pork you just get at your um, uh, supermarket in the meat section. And it's simply what it's called. It's salted pork. Um, and then also we need some yellow onions. Um, okay, I believe that's it. Let's get cooking. Okay, the next uh, step in this recipe is, uh, so we've got our baking soda. Uh, you want to put your pan on uh, the stove, of course. Put your baking soda in, give it a stir around. Now you want to bring this to a simmer. Um, and then you're going to let it simmer for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes is up, you're going to cover it, 
take it off the heat and let it uh, soak or sit there for another hour. So pot on the stove, bring it to, uh, put your baking powder in, bring it to a simmer, let it simmer for 20 minutes, cover it, let it sit for an hour. We'll see you in an hour in 20 minutes. Okay, while our uh, beans are simmering, we're going to get the rest of the other ingredients um, all together so that we can just um, throw it all together and get it in the oven. Uh, oh, by the way, the oven is at uh, 250, so you want to preheat your oven to 250 degrees. Um, all right, so then we just um, we got our two. This particular recipe calls for small onions. So this looks like a small onion to me. Um, it's not like a southern... Um, baked beans where there's lots of uh, uh, bacon in it and um, onions. So, but anyway, I'm just going to take these and really just kind of quarter them or fourth them. And you'll see how we put this together. It's kind of layered. And uh, we're just going to get these cut up for now so that they'll be ready once our beans are soaked and we can just go forward with the recipe. So again, so I've just taken a small onion and cut it into fourths. And you can set that aside for now. Um, all right, and then um, we've got our salt pork. Um, so our salt pork, I kind of like, I like to uh, cut it in to somewhat um, small pieces. Now the uh, recipe call, it says put the salt pork in rind up. I always take the rind off. And then, so we got that in. Okay. Uh, of course, this uh, this is a kind of a tough meat to work with. So when you're cutting meat like this, anything really you're cutting, always make sure you put your your little fingertips in. Just in case your knife slips, you're not going to cut off a fingertip. This was my grandmother uh, was the uh, bean maker uh, in my life, taught me how to make beans, my Irish grandmother. All right, so basically we got that done, cut up, and we're just going to put this, the meat and the beans aside for now. Um, because we're not going to need those until our beans are I've soaked a little bit more. Um, all right, let me just rinse off my hands. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to put together our um, molasses baking liquid. All right, so in this container, I have a cup of molasses. This is a kind of another thing that I think makes a, an authentic Boston baked beans um, a little bit different is you use much more molasses um, than sugar. Um, so from from this. Um, We've got a 
cup of one cup of molasses and we need excuse me for this recipe is it's kind of like in old English place half of the beans in the bean pot mix mustard molasses brown sugar salt and two cups of water okay so I need two cups of water let me get a two cup measuring Exactly two cups. Okay, so I'm going to put my two cups of water into my cup of molasses. Let's grab a spoon. Do you know what molasses is, hon? Hey, actually, what is molasses made out of? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's uh, maple or it's anyway. We'll find out and we'll let you know. All right. So in that, in your uh, molasses, so two cups of water, we're going to put our um, dried mustard. Give it a little stir. I'm going to put our salt and pepper in, and our we've got three tablespoons of white sugar. You can also use brown sugar if you prefer brown sugar. And we're going to be doing this in warm water when hot water over the rest of the beans, so you don't have to worry about it being too, everything too well um, incorporated. Because, of course, it's cold water in the molasses. All right, so then, also we're going to set this aside for now. Um, I'll cover that in a second, because um, our beans still uh, need to uh, uh, simmer for about uh, 10 minutes, and then they've got to sit there on uh, with the heat off for an hour. So we'll be uh, back when the simmering is done and we'll be able to put everything together and get it in the oven. Okay, I just wanted to show you. So the beans have now uh, simmered for 20 minutes. So again, what we did is we put the um, beans and the liquid on the stove top. I had it on high. I put the uh, baking soda in. Uh, I stood over it as it came up to the simmer came to the simmer, I turned it down to low, and now we've let it simmer for 20 minutes. So at this point now, we're going to turn off the heat, we're going to cover it, and we're going to let this sit for one hour. Okay, Google, set the timer for one hour. One hour, and we're starting now. See you in an hour. Okay, the only thing we need to do now is get um, everything all put together and get our beans in the oven. Our beans have... Uh, sat for an hour and we're going to so with the Boston baked beans you kind of start to layer oh um, so I've got my bean pot and uh, whether you're using a bean pot or any type of Dutch oven which this is a Dutch oven you can use this with the cover ceramic Dutch oven cast iron coated with ceramic whatever a Dutch oven um, put it on a uh, uh, baking sheet just because uh, it does tend to spill over. So you want to start to get your beans in. It's too big of a spatula, but that's our uh, strainer, but that's okay. My other one's dirty. And probably about halfway through we want to fill that up. We're about halfway. Spread them out. All right, so you want to put a couple layer of onions in there. And a couple of pieces of your salt pork. All right, and then this is our molasses, sugar, and spice mixture. Give that a little bit of a stir. I'm just going to pour that in. 
course, that's going to make everything sticky as it is, so I'm going to clean that up and change that because that will start to burn in the oven. But that's all right. We'll do that in a minute. All right, and then let's get our some more in there. Sometimes I don't get all the two um, pounds of beans in here, even though this recipe does actually call for two pounds of beans. In there. And we'll put a couple more of our little pork in there. And a couple of more onions. Save a few for the last few on the top. Let's get our mixture in there, see if I can do it without making a mess. Alright. We'll finish it off. And um, you can fill this pretty much right up to the top. Of course, this um, pot, the way it's concaved, it does, you can push them off to the side a little bit more. That's perfect. Okay, and then we'll throw our last little bits of onions in there. I always like to leave two nice pieces of salt pork right on top. We're going to add the rest of our molasses and brown sugar and spices. Leaving that in there. All right, and then the liquid that we've cooked the beans in, we want to fill up. And we're going to fill it up just to about the top. You see that? All right, now, um, this a small amount of um, the liquid left from the beans. If you want to uh, uh, strain that and keep it on hand, go right ahead or use a little bit of water. Just, you want to kind of keep an eye on it. I have never had to add additional water to it while it's baking, but, um, you know, if the water starts to go below uh, the top of the beans, so you might want to check it once or twice during the cooking time. And it's going to take six to eight hours, probably closer to eight. Um, all right, so you want to put that on top. I'm going to change this and I'll meet you over at the oven. See you in a minute. Okay, so we've got all our beautiful beans in the pot. Um, I always put this on the next to the last, last um, oven rack in the middle close up your door say see you Boston baked beans we'll see you in about eight hours and that's it eight hours from now hopefully we're gonna have delicious Boston baked beans in about two hours from now your house is gonna smell absolutely fabulous okay Google set the timer for eight hours so that's on 250 degrees Fahrenheit Starting. eight hours see you in eight hours <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, we're back. Um, actually, this is the next day. Um, we actually uh, made um, the Boston baked beans and uh, the crockpot beans on the same day. So by the time everything was cooked, it was like 10 o'clock at night. 
So we were we had already eaten and we didn't feel like doing a tasting. So um, uh, we're going to combine the two of these together. Um, I really hope that you guys try this. Canned beans are delicious. I love canned beans. We use canned beans a lot. But there's nothing like homemade from scratch baked beans. Yep. Make them for somebody you love. They're delicious. They're going to love you for it. Um, in the pictures you'll see, uh, the big difference between a traditional Boston baked bean recipe is that it uses um, more molasses, less sugar, and um, a little bit less uh, liquid, opposed to the other uh, recipe that I made, which is kind of a com combination of uh, different um, baked bean recipes that I've made over the years, and I adapted it so that I could do it in the crock pot. But you can also make this, um, the uh, crock pot baked uh, beans, in the oven as well, and we'll put those uh, instructions in the recipe. Um, and you can see, as in the pictures you can see, the uh, crockpot beans are a little, um, little bit more saucy and a little lighter in color, where the Boston baked beans are drier um, and, and darker from that extra molasses. Um, and tonight we're going to have them. Our one of our favorite ways uh, to have uh, baked beans is beans on toast, um, which is, I guess, kind of a very Irish and English thing. Um, of course, baked beans make a great side dish for anything. Great for um, any kind of potluck, any type of uh, situation where you have a lot of people uh, that have come together uh, uh, to eat. So anyway, let's eat. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one on one on each one. Mm, me too. We like them both. I mean, I don't think I have a necessarily necessarily have a favorite one. Boston baked beans are kind of like uh, you know childhood memories because my grandmother. Uh, made them, often, uh, using uh, a recipe very similar to this one. And we'll also uh, put a link on this video uh, to um, the website where Lee bought me the bean pot. I love that bean pot. And it, it, it doesn't just make baked beans, you can do other things in it, too, in it as well. Okay. Tits of the beans before, they're delicious. Yes. Absolutely delicious. delicious. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> and almost all of them are already gone from giving them away to people at work. And mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Delicious. Very delicious. Very good. About this particularly West, particular recipe of the Boston baked beans, it's scrumptious. Oh, you're going in for a double one? <laughs> yep. Mm. Actually, I can't even tell which one is my favorite because they're both good. Okay, you got a nice baked piece of salt pork. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> mm, delicious. I'm going to actually make cook up another batch of the Boston baked beans tomorrow so we have some to put in the fridge, freezer and we can have them when we want them. <laughs> Thank you for helping me make these mm. and putting up with me in another video. In it. Didn't realize it took a long time to make baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, didn't realize I was slaving over a stove all day long. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Goodbye. All right. I really hope you guys tried this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. We enjoyed making it for you. Ciao. And check out SherryHillHomeCooking.com. <laughs> Don't forget that. Bye. Bye. Mmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>